my new friend back. <laughs> I got like dumb as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like so you know, just a little bit. You just get rid of me. Sad just a little bit. I'm not. The best comp I ever got was a girl, she compared me to DMX, and it wasn't because of how I sounded, but just like when you hear DMX on a record, like you know that's DMX, and she said it about my voice, and I took that as like the hugest compliment. I saw Childish Gambino did that Wu-Tang shit, so. All it is is Dom, Dom Dillard, Dominic Dillard, just D-O-M and D-I. And then it was like, that was like Salud, it was like put in like where you're from. I put like Shively, Louisville, and Salud came out, but that sounded like mad. Like, it would've made me seem like a Haitian, cause it almost seemed like a Haitian, you know what I mean? Like a foreign name, so I was like, I was used to Dom so. Yeah, I mean, as far as selfish, I was just in a state where I felt like I was being an asshole to people around me, and I felt like I could be better. So, I named the EP Selfish because of that. I just, I just really had this whole self-reflection moment this year, and just realized there was certain stuff that I wasn't, I was just being hella selfish about as far as different relationships with different people. I was like, man, I've kind of been an asshole. Just like certain things I would say just about different women that I was with, and I was just like, man, like, I gotta change my ways. So three of the songs, well, I guess I like really just like two of the songs, but I just, it, it just reflected who I was. So like, I would just, I felt like I was being hella selfish, and I just, I'm, I wish I could be like a Frank Ocean or like different artists like that who are like very hidden with the titles and like Tyler Crater, how they like, they'll say a title, the song's called Baloney, but it's about something totally different. But I'm very like direct and like, just like, I want you to exactly what I'm saying so my favorite is just making the music and like hearing the demos you know what I mean I guess like it was Listerine for the longest and then like I made I'm yours I'm like, damn man like nigga R&B nigga then selfish but then we made Caddy which that was like dedicated to my pops where I was kind of like singing on the first part and I'm kind of humming doing my little auto tune thing and then mine was like kind of like a house joint so I mean, we first set out the, the Listerine video, and um, I was at work, and people was like, yo, man, I saw your video, and I was like, thanks, man, like, we make you a margarita, like, so it's just like, I had like three different girls, and it was like, hey, right, we gotta find a day, everybody's off work, a day, everybody can meet, and it was getting tough, so, um, it just started feeling like we wasn't gonna shoot the video, so I was like, fuck it. I was like, Frank, let's do it today. He's like, all right, cool. We, we're such instant people. We're like, all right, let's do it today. So I hit my homegirl, Roy, uh, DJ Roy on Instagram. Frank bought red, I think I said red. He bought green and yellow balloons to like get the ambiance going. He told me to wear green. I wore my boy Coop's Avenue shirt and um, Roy just chilled in a, um, a blown up avocado the whole time and I just sung the video. Yeah, it got me trapped in a my space. A lot of people think it's like way more. Um, I done told people it's like a blood pack and we're gonna like kill each other in like 2026. Nah, but it's, it, it, it was 10 years ahead. I mean, Frank, he seemed like he's been very focused on what I've been doing and he's very hyped because like he's been with me for years and for the longest, I felt like he was just doing me a favor. And now he's at a good point where he's like, all right, cool. Like we actually like, we profiting. We not making crazy money, but we still making some little bread here and there. Boom, boom, boom. He's seeing traction and building everything. And then I've become more enthusiastic and I've just found the confidence in myself to where I'm like, hey man, like I'm a cool person, I'm a talented person, let's go ham and then Will like, I mean Will's just like one of the most talented people I've ever met so it's just cool that all three of us have kind of come together and we're on the same wavelength as far as just like what we want to do and how we want to accomplish it, so yeah. I like this EP a lot honestly, like the day we put it out I was like, man this sounds, I was proud of my voice. I was proud of all the guitar stuff that Will did on it. I was proud of him making the beats. I was proud of Frank with, like, the artwork looks cool, bro. At first, I was like, hella, like, because I looked dumb as hell in all those photos. So I was like, man, this is going to look stupid. But Frank did his thing with the album cover. All my music is, like, legitimately me. So, like, I think um, a lot of times when I tell people I rap, they immediately think it's just going to be, like, some corny, like, me trying to make myself look way cooler than I am type of, like, ordeal. But, nah, all my music is about me, so it's about my mistakes. It's about what makes me happy. It's about my family. It's about my homies. It's about whatever comes to my mind, so... As I sit here in my thoughts, I'ma focus making life more vivid. I got no way to go.